Welcome everyone to a live scrimcast here. We're actually in game number two now coming at you between the lazy feline here on the Legion side taking on backdoor protocol here on the Hellborn side. Uh, I was actually casting uh, off stream the game number one as Clantons was actually covering that one in the beginning but he has moved over to another Scrim series between White Flag Gamers and it is what it is. If you guys are interested in watching that, please go over to twitch.tv slash Clantons. You guys can catch the other Scrim series going on. But I will be covering this one here. This, again, as I said, is game number two now. And Backdoor Protocol did take game number one at the 20-minute mark behind a 600 GPM Puppet Master. So we got a new game on our hands here. The bands are already completed. We're going to go over them real quickly before the picks start. Uh, our Legion side has banned away Andromeda, Moira, and Electrician. So they're going to get rid of two supports there, as well as the Electrician, which was picked up in the last game. I'm actually going to go ahead and show the stats really quickly so you guys can see. Okay, actually it was no stats, so they, they, there's, there's no stats really to see. But what happened was... Back to protocol one, that game number one, as I said, at the 20 minute mark. So, Hellborn's bans here. They have banned Magmus, Lodestone, and Monarch. They will get rid of two offlaners slash initiators, and they will get rid of the Monarch there. So, three supports, three tanky solo laners slash initiators banned out by the two sides thus far. Our Legion side here, the Lazy Feeling, will have the first pick. They will pick up the Blitz, so they're going to go with a support option here as we do tend to see the teams liking picking up their supports early on in their drafts we see the chipper and now the kraken going to be picked up here from the side of backdoor protocol so uh, a support and possibly a solo laner perhaps a mid perhaps a solo uh, off laner or solo short if they do decide to run a tri lane with that Kraken, we'll have to wait and see what the rest of the draft entails. But two picks coming up now for the side of the Lazy Feline. We're going to have the Cthulhu Fawn picked up here on the second pick. And one more pick to follow. We'll see if they do decide to go with a second support here or another core hero. Um, I am expecting to see something that kind of pairs with that Cthulhu Fawn, perhaps on this next pick. Um, many heroes can, can fit that role. Um, I'll just throw a couple out there, something like Demented Shaman, uh, Engineer. Um, you guys get the picture. Something to kind of pair with that Cthulhu font. They're shadow picking the Pyromancer right now. Could definitely work, um, but not the hero I would necessarily think of. Um, typically, you, you do want to see a double nuker uh, ranged hero, but uh, there's many heroes in the game that fit the role of pairing with a Cthulhu font. So we'll see if they do decide to go with anything of that nature. And again, this could be an offlane Cthulhu. They could run a jungler. We'll have to wait and see uh, what they decide to go with here. So they are using a lot of their reserve time here, only leaving themselves with 20 seconds and, and ticking downward even further. So in the next couple of seconds here, we'll get to see what it is. It's going to be a Rhapsody. And, uh, well, I got to say, as far as what I'm seeing, I'm not really a big fan of that Rhapsody pick. Uh, not only in the sense that there's a lot of cancels already with the Chipper having multiple ways to cancel the Melody. They pick up two more or less hard supports, heroes that can't really farm or clear waves uh, with that Cthulhu font or, or get really fast kills. I feel like they picked up two, two weak of supports here to pair with that Cthulhu font. We'll see if that kind of comes into play or not, but uh, I think if they had only one of those two supports, it would have been just fine, but picking up both a Rhapsody and a Blitz just feels to me a little bit on the weaker side. Um, again, we'll have to wait and see how the lanes shape up, but the second banning phase is now underway. We have Hellborn starting it off here with the Lord Salforest ban, and they will... Uh, second ban the Malakin here. We see Ugi going to be the immediate response ban once seeing that Lord Sulphorus ban. Makes a lot of sense uh, as the Lord Sulphorus ban could kind of hint at a possible pick that they're thinking of taking there on the side of Backdoor Protocol. But uh, then we have the Ravenor ban as well. 
Uh, I don't think he's really that strong of a meta hero. I think he is good, but I don't know if he's necessarily ban worthy. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by the Ravenor ban. The Ugi ban, I think, makes a, a bit more sense. But uh, the last ban here from Backdoor Protocol will be the Bubbles, which uh, I think it's an okay ban. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's like a high priority ban either. And the last ban will be Kronos. So again, banning a lot of these team fighters uh, and hard carries, I would say, with like the Ugi, the Raven, or the Kronos. These are very deep scaling kind of carries. So that will be the last ban there. We have two picks coming the way of Backdoor Protocol. They have 34 seconds of reserve time. And uh, once those two picks are made, Lazy Feline's going to have to pick very quickly. They only have 15 seconds extra there. Uh, as they will most likely be picking a mid and a carry on their last two picks. But uh, what will Backdoor Protocol go with here with 20 seconds left on the clock is the question. Tundra. We're going to have a Tundra pick and now a Draconis on the fourth pick. So I like to see me some Draconis. Not too sure if we're going to see a jungling Draconis though. We have, or I have seen rather, um, I think a laning Draconis from Backdoor Protocol. Uh, now I was going to say, I think Snark played that one the last time I saw it, but they have picked up Tundra, which is typically played by Snark. So I'm not sure who's going to play the Draconis. And in what capacity they're going to run the Draconis as. But I am expecting them to pick up another core hero with the Draconis. I don't think they'll run a single core dragon. So we'll probably see something to pair with that. To kind of make for some uh, scaling power here. Something like a Sir Bensington comes to mind. But we'll see what they decide to go with. The last two picks for our Legion side here are going to be both the Sandwraith and the Midas. And uh, now they have some wave clear power as well as a hard carry in the Sandwraith. Uh, I think that rounded off their lineup quite nicely. Um, I do think they're going to lack a lot of sustained damage in mid game uh, with the two supports and the Midas only having his uh, spell damage. But if the Sandwraith can get good farm, he is one of those heroes that can just take over the game by himself. They will most likely look to get either a Staff of the Master on the Cthulhu or the Midas for that Sandwraith. Hopefully they can do that to kind of empower him to be that very scary presence. And the last pick, not what I was expecting, but they're going to go with a Gunblade. Kind of fits that semi-carry role uh, to pair with the Dragon there. Not something that needs a lot of jungle and, uh, and space to be made for him. So they're going to have a lot of mid-game fighting power with the Dragon and the Gunblade. Uh, they're going to be running a mid Kraken, it looks like, this game. Actually, are they going to run a mid Kraken? Usually, Snark plays the the mid roll here, but uh, I think we could be seeing offlane Tundra this game. We'll have to wait and see how they decide to allocate the lanes here. Sandwraith heading to the bottom lane, being played by Alpaca God. I believe that's uh, Bart or Bractilo. Uh, we have Midas being played. By Sadness, who I think is Razor PK. I'm, again, I'm not sure exactly who these players are. I'm just throwing out guesses here. Uh, we got BKB playing support, Rhapsody. Salt is back on the support role this game. He was playing uh, Bramble last game, which didn't really seem like it fit his role. Cthulhu Fong going to say hello to some enemies here in the Hellborn jungle, but they are going to quickly say, hello, get out of my jungle. Uh rather quickly and uh, we could be seeing a Cthulhu font tri lane here an aggressive tri lane to kind of shut down this uh, jungle dragon which is what it looks like we're seeing coming out from backdoor protocol here they're gonna run tundra in the off lane so snark switching up roll a little bit here but yog har day i believe is as how it's pronounced he's playing the mid lane here on the kraken we have gunblade and Shipper, which is, uh, they got the bird up here probably to block. Actually, why is the bird up here? I'm a little bit surprised by that. I think the bird should be down here, but it is what it is. Uh, going to be 
up here for now. They have Chipper and Gunblade against the tri lane. No, Rhapsody has moved down to the bot lane, so. Uh, I'm going to protect the Sandwraith against the Tundra. They don't want Tundra to get too, too much down here. I think Rhapsody should maybe stay down here for a little while before perhaps rotating around to back to top lane. So Kraken versus Midas. It should be both sides getting decently farmed here. I think Midas has a little bit of an edge here uh, in terms of the 1v1. And definitely once he gets level 4, he's going to have a much nicer time. But uh, Kraken should get farmed nonetheless. See uh, if Dragon can uh, get off to a good start here. As he has no camps blocked, so he should be farming very, very quickly. Cthulhu Font Blitz versus Gunblade Shipper. Two squishy heroes against the Cthulhu Font, but again, Blitz, he does need some levels before his burst starts to pick up. We have Tundra doing a pull here in the jungle. Rhapsody going to say hello to him. Rhapsody actually going to steal that Wild Hunter from him. Nice, nice job there from Rhapsody. Put some pressure out there with the Staccatos. And he's going to get the experience for the Wild Hunter. So Tundra not going to get any experience now. Does need to be careful. That's the health potion. Missed the Bloodlust kill. Darn it. They're going to get the kill there on the Gunblade. Oh! Under 10 life there was Blitz as Chipper was trying to get the, the kill there. He's trying to go for a Cthulhu Fawn, but he does have the Apple. And the Bloodlust will go out there on the Gunblade. I did miss that as... Tundra was taking a lot of pressure there. He's actually going to bring the creep wave to the mid lane here. <laughs> uh, Kraken's going to be like, ooh, that's some, some nice extra farm here that I would love against the Midas. But uh, definitely going to hurt himself quite a lot um, by doing this. So take a look at the GPMs. Kraken's going to take a bit of a boost here over the Midas with that extra creep wave. And Tundra, he's sending the Curial in. Gonna maybe try to uh, get another creep pull off, or even try to pull this uh, this camp here. Perhaps they're not really preventing that. So Tundra, he should be able to get one pull off here. He's also, oh, he pulls it into the jungle though. That's not what he wanted to do, I think. Um, also, this one got messed up there. Something happened here in mid lane. I missed what happened, but. We have a pretty even game here so far. Legion off to a 700 gold lead. Experiencing kind of minimal at this point. But uh, Sandwraith 22 and 5. He's the top farmer for the Legion side. Draconis, he's already level 5. He just took uh, some stacks, it looks like. I haven't paid too much attention to him, but he's got the. Waddle and the Marchers picked up already. He's going to hit level 6 here from the easy camp. Actually, he's just under level 6. But, uh... Going to probably look to go back into the jungle, get the 4 minute rune, continue farming. Midas going to head to the top rune. Looks like he's going to steal that one away from Draconis. The rune did spawn. Merrick's up there. Double damage in the bot. River Rhapsody gonna try to get that one before Kraken can. Might just gonna miss some experience here as Kraken boxing out the Midas from coming for experience. Good job by him. Thufon 13 and 3 against a 19 and 6 Gunblade. So despite the death, Gunblade is still winning in the last hits up here in the top lane. And Tundra, he's only on 3 and 1, so that's where we're gonna start to see the uh, gold lead, I think, in favor. Of Legion a little bit, but they do have the Draconis farming very well in, in exchange for the Tundra having a bad time. Rhapsody does pick up the DD. She's level 4. Top lane, we have some action. Blitz slowing up the Gunblade, but power supply, 4 charges. He wasn't feeling comfortable with going for, uh, for the dive there. Still fought as the 10 battery charge as well as the apple still mid lane Kraken. Oh, he actually used his release to crack and Midas was able to stay alive throughout that. Not sure if it missed or if it just wasn't enough damage, but good job for Midas there to avoid death. 
Dragonus is level 7 now with the Soul Trap, continues to farm. Doesn't have any stacks to work with currently. Mid lane Rhapsody is now here. Not gonna get in range for a Staccato stun. There's a Transmute coming in, but not enough damage for a kill. Even if Rhapsody was here, I don't think that that would have been a kill. Sandwraith picks up the early Knuckles with the Marchers. He's gonna be looking to try to get a charge here very shortly. Does not pick up the Toxin Claw though. I think that is a little bit of a mistake as he would be able to put a lot more pressure on this Tundra with the Toxin Claw pickup. But uh, bottom rune will be camped by Rhapsody. Kraken will get top rune. We'll see who wins the, the rune battle. We'll go over to Hellborn here, the regeneration on the Kraken. And we have level sixes around the corner coming up soon. Still haven't seen much from Draconis just yet. He's only level seven. Definitely could have been a little bit higher level, but he's gonna Veiled Rot fly down to the bottom lane. I'm gonna try to set something up on the Sand Wraith here. He does have Volcano and Soul Trap ready to go. If Tundra can get some damage in here, this will be enough for a kill. There's the Piercing Shards, the Soul Trap with the Volcano. This will be a kill there on the Sand Wraith. Smackdown comes up on top. We see Draconis' first gank of the game. So, Gunblade, he is 275 gold per minute. Not doing too badly, but is definitely doing much worse in terms of last hits than the Sandwraith, who's on 47 compared to the 31. Kraken, I think he just bought something. Is it the full steam boots though is the question. Two soul scream rings picked up on the gun blade with the power supply. We have availed Rod and Midas up here. Blitz gonna get the stun opening. There's the transmute, the tramples. Well, they do stack the CC quite a bit here, but it's not gonna matter. There's too much damage coming in from the Legion side with the Midas joining up here. And Chipper was off placing a ward, so he was not able to assist uh, his teammate there. We have the bird over here currently. They were thinking about maybe going in. Here comes the transmute landing on the Kraken. Now this might be... Uh, okay, actually the breath missed from Draconis as he did warp away on the Midas. No volcano, so he couldn't go for a chase. And Tundra, he does have the avalanche now. Could look to set up a kill. Because he's uh, getting spotted by this word of sight here. Sandwraith is level 7. We haven't seen a mirage just yet. Um, see, uh, he definitely could look to join there and did pick up the knuckles. So I think he does want to get involved sooner rather than later. Blade has the grappling shot. Will he go for it? There's the opening. Oh, Sandwraith gonna retaliate here as he pours in. Slows up the gun blade. There's the focus buffer though. And Draconis is here with the volcano. Activates that cataclysm. And he's dealing so much damage here. Cthulhuphon did go down first. The rockets are landing. There's a nice double transmute coming in from the Midas as the team support is coming in. There's the stun from Rhapsody on the Draconis. He's bottle sipping through. One more auto attack. No, he's gonna have 45 life. He does soul trap himself up. And Blitz did fall. Meanwhile, Midas is going to maybe sacrifice himself. No, he will stay alive. He does go down as Kraken comes in from the back. Lion with the, uh, release the Kraken. Picks up a double tap onto both the Rhapsody and the Midas. And when it's all said and done, I think that was a 3 for 3. Or no, 3 for 2 fight. But Draconis. Oh, did he overstay his welcome here? Obliterate is activated. Cthulhuvon will take him out with that respawn. And it will actually be a 3 for 3 uh, in the end there. Factor Protocol still taking a golden experience lead. Um, as it is still a 5 to 5 hero kill score. But 1500 gold lead, 3000 experience lead due to having that jungling Draconis on level 10 already. And we're gonna miss here in the mid lane on the Kraken. 10 minute rune spawning top, going to be double damage. Midas gonna warp for it. Rocket's gonna miss here from Chipper, as well as the Tsunami charge. Rhapsody trying to get in range here. Not feeling comfortable with going uphill, it looked like. 
Definitely uh, some hesitation coming in there from the side of Legion. Meanwhile, bottom lane, no volcano up on Draconis. I think that might have been a kill on the Sandrith had he had the volcano to fly to. But uh, makes his presence felt down here regardless. And we'll stop Sandrith from farming for the meantime. Still surprised by no Toxin Claws, no bottle, and no kind of sustain or anything picked up on the Sandrith. I think he accidentally bought a uh, Ophelius Pact as well. Thunder could be in some trouble here. Midas gonna try to line up the transmit. He does miss the transmit, but there's the staccato stun. And they will get the kill regardless. Draconis did throw down the volcano, but not gonna be looking to go back in. There was too many Legion heroes here as Kraken does pour it in. Picks up the vestments as well. He's gonna run into Blitz. He's getting slowed up by the pilfering there. There's the slow coming in from Sandwraith. He throws down a defensive release the Kraken. He's going to get transmuted though. And this port in from the Kraken going to uh, not end up working out for him. He does end up falling. As they couldn't get anything done there. And he was farming very well. He was above 400 gold per minute. But going to take his first death of the match there. Meanwhile, uh, Gunblade is farming away up here in the top lane. Not really getting too much attention at the moment. So he's, uh, he's still below 300 GPM though. With the 54 last hits. There's the Alacrity Band from Sandwraith. Going to be working toward the Thunderclaw. Midas picks up a Sorcery Boots. He's going to have that mana sustain for himself and his allies. Not too much on Cthulhu Font just yet. He is level 8. Actually putting points into the Maddening Revenge, not maxing out the Trample. A little surprised by that. But uh, Tundra, he is picking up some last hits. Not having the best start. But uh, has the Striders and the Chalice for now. Typically we see Snark go for the Staff of the Master, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for that. Kraken picks himself up a haste rune. He's going to have that in his bottle for almost two minutes. As he's about halfway to his portal key. Eats a transmute there from the Midas. Conus going to pick up the full dream catcher here with the ghost marchers. At the 13 minute mark. He's level 12. So he is 630 XPM. The top farmer in the game so far. See the haste rune activated there by Kraken to avoid the gank attempt there from our Legion side. And game kind of slowing down a little bit here. We have had two kills the last couple of minutes here for Legion. As uh, they have built a 7-5 to five hero kill lead, but they are still trailing in golden experience. So I feel like they are not getting enough done with their supports. Up lane Kraken, or Cthulhu Font, sorry, gonna be in some trouble here. Tramples out, but I don't see him getting out of this. There's the Chainsaws from Chipper. Gonna take him out. Meanwhile, bottom lane, we have a fight going on here. Protected Melody gonna keep Sandwraith alive for the meanwhile, but there is the Dreamcatcher up on him, and the TP not gonna save him. Rhapsody also gonna fall here. There's too much slow coming in from the Tundra and the Draconis. And I feel like at this point, this might start to snowball out of control for for the Hellborn as uh, Draconis just very far ahead right now and he has a lot of weak targets to kind of pick on with the supports not having too much farm and Sandraith not really at where he wants to be he's below 400 GPM now with that second death from the Draconis Dreamcatcher there Tundra even starting to pick up some farm as he's almost at 300 GPM which uh, he's equal to the dual lane Cthulhu font at this point. Picks up the arcane bomb actually, so valuing the early bomb there against the sand wraith. Quite a good pickup, but I am a little bit surprised that he does. Oh, actually, it's just the recipe. I was gonna say he was really farmed actually. I have a mirage coming out here. Where's he gonna port? 
Is he going to port to it, actually, is the question. He will not. The Kraken has his portal key picked up here at the 15-minute mark, sitting on 300 gold as well. So a lot of things going right here for Backdoor Protocol. Lazy Phil ain't going to find themselves in a bit of a hole here. Let's see if they can dig themselves out of it. Definitely with some good farm on Sandrate, they could pull this one back. But uh, across the board, it's it's not really looking too good. The Midas, even only on 328 gold per minute, not going to be uh, too, too impressive there. As he does pick up the Sand Scepter for now. There's the Thunderclaw finished on Sandraith. Again, Gunblade has been really quiet this game. He, he is starting to pick up some farm though. 360 gold per minute. Not the fastest farming carry. But uh, he has 1800 gold saved up. I think we'll see the Shroud following the Brass Knuckles. Typically we see the Shroud on Gunblade. Don't think we'll see a Thunderclaw or any kind of farming item. I think we'll just see fighting items. As Dracon is kind of soaking a lot of the space here. He does save 3300 gold, so he might be going for Mock of Brilliance as well. Rhapsody going to get taken out there by the Chainsaws. Release the Kraken was also used. Dracon is going to fly down to the bot lane here. He's going to throw out the Breath. This is the real Sand Wraith. As the uh, tower going to get some damage reduction there from the Draconic Defense. Look at that damage coming in from Draconis. Still no Toxin Claws to slow up the Dragon. Piercing Shards and the Cold Shoulder are going to take him out there. Sandwraith falls once again. Still cannot break that 400 GPA barrier. And they even defend the tower which they could look to deny at a later time. So I do think we're going to see the mock on Draconis here. And I don't think it would be that bad this game. as He's kind of playing a very heavy farming role this game. Rocket's going to miss. Gunblade going to stay alive. He picks up the big potion there. Trample lines up on the Cthulhu font. Oh, he's going to stun three. There's the uh, transmute landing. They're going to take two kills here on the Midas. And he will warp away. <coughs> Kraken going to try to go for some more. He's going to miss the charge there. Another transmute lining up from the Midas. Making some big plays there. Sandwraith, uh, I think he came in and got an assist there on his knuckles. On the Kraken kill. I'm just going to work on some ancient stacks. Almost has the mock picked up. See if he goes for a shrunken head after the mock, possibly. Could be some good follow up. We have uh, still nothing picked up on the gunblade. I'm surprised that he hasn't bought anything. It's a lot of gold to be saving on a on a hero that doesn't really farm very fast. Um, I failed rotted kraken up here. Does have his uh, release the kraken. He should be getting his veiled rot broken. He's gonna land the charge, but does not stun the kraken there or the Cthulhu font. Excuse me. Very unfortunate. Couldn't line up the tsunami charge there. Sandraith, will he go for a null fire blade? It looks like he will. He picks up the soul scream ring here. I think we'll see null fire blade as his next item. We can have Chandra. He gets caught in the mid lane here. He used the uh, Lightning Shackles ultimate. Tower gonna fall here. It, that could have been denied. Uh, looks like they didn't recognize that that was in deny range, unfortunately. And Sandwraith picks up the tower last hit. So we see still uh, Backdoor Protocol in a sizable lead here. Almost 7,000 gold and 10,000 plus experience lead. Midas going for a staff here. Um, due to how little Cthulhu Fun's farming, I think this makes a lot of sense. 
And unfortunately for Cthulhu font, I think Midas is going to have to staff the Sand Wraith over the Cthulhu font. There's just simply not enough farm on Cthulhu for that to matter at this point. Uh, despite how good the staff on Cthulhu font is. And the Draconis continuing to farm away. He's almost 600 GPM. He had a very impressive game, a one performance, over 600 GPM on the Puppet Master. Picks up the Mighty Blade, he's going to be working towards the Shrunken Head now. The Eldorotted Tundra here as he scouts the way with the bird. There's nobody in the area though. Lilfon I think is going to go for a portal key here. You just saw that picked up. Null Fireblade in the works for Sandwraith. As Midas is trying to finish his staff of the Master as well. I have a Warhammer picked up on Gunblade. What is he going to go for with that Warhammer? Thunder actually gets caught here as he runs into both the Blitz and the Midas. Draconis is here with the Mock. They're going to try to force this tower as there's the grappling shot on the Blitz. They're going to take out the, or no, the Midas, sorry. The Midas goes down. And they also get the kill there on the Cthulhu font as Chipper does fall as well. So many casualties here as Kraken takes out the Rhapsody. Sandra is going to be in trouble. He's going to fall as well. The only one to survive this fight is the Blitz. It was almost a genocide here. And they only lost the offlane Tundra and the support Chipper. So pretty solid fight here from Backdoor Protocol. Kraken kind of guessing there. And... Uh, <laughs> It's just going to stack the easy cam while he's at it. Finds himself a regen rune. I think he'll be pretty happy about that. Draconis needs 1,000 for his shrunken. Thunder picks up a mana tube. Not sure what he's going to go for here. Is that a storm spirit? What is he going to buy with mana tube? Jade spire? Storm Spirit, ah, I don't know, it could be Jade Spire, but I don't think he should go for that. I don't think that's really going to do too much. Maybe Storm Spirit. We'll see. Got the Soul's Blower picked up on the Kraken. Looks like he might be going for a Shaman's Headdress. Oh, the Rocket's going to miss there on the Rhapsody. He's going to charge backwards. Does get stunned up by the trample. There's the obliterate and the dream of madness. Midas transmutes the Kraken. Shaman's not gonna keep him alive there. Here comes Draconis now with the volcano though. Here comes the mock and the DOT damage kicking in. That he's going to pick up a double tap here on both the Rhapsody. Uh, and they, he killed the Sandwraith actually. I missed that one prior to that fight. Gumbly goes for a straight shrunken head. He's gonna pick up the hat trick there on the Draconis, on the Midas. And this is starting to look very heavily now in favor of Backdoor Protocol as they once again take a very solid team fight, only losing their Kraken for three players. Draconis can steal some jungle here as well with the Tundra, perhaps. And uh, Gunblade goes back to farming up in the top lane. Draconis will continue his farming across the map. So he has his shrunken head completed, 650 gold per minute now. He's on 269 creep kills. He has as many creep kills as both the Cthulhu Hunt and the Sandwraith put together. They have the Null Fireblade level 1 picked up on Sandwraith. I'm going to try to steal some of the Ancients here, but Blitz and company, they know this is going on. He has the mock activated. He's gonna run into a rev ward here. Oh no. That's disastrous. That's a feed, unfortunately. Good rev wards coming in from the Legion side. They get the dragon kill. Oh, yep. Yeah. Gunblade, he just picked up something. I missed it. It's going to be an, a, 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 a quick blade. Yep, that's the name of that item. The a la 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 quick blade. There we go. I think we'll see a barrier idol from Crack in this game. I think I would have rather him gone for Shrunken Head though. Over that. 
but uh, Barrier is going to be good for his team. Top tower gets taken out here by the Lazy Feline. Rhapsody going to get grappling shotted. There's the Shrunken Head. Rocket assistance from Chipper. There's the Arcane Bomb to kind of scout things out. They're trying to maybe go for some more. That's Kraken. He does have released the Kraken here. Still not going to PK in the trees. They're getting sc scouted though by the Rockets. Here comes the Dream of Madness. Release the Kraken, gonna line up on the Midas. He's going to fall. He does get a transmute on the Chipper, but not enough damage for a kill. As Cthulhuvan is gonna trample to safety with the Quicken, but did Blitz just sacrifice himself? Now there's the Lightning Shackles ultimate piercing shards coming in from the Tundra. That's the Obliterate, gonna kinda stall the PKs, but there's another stun from the Kraken. They take out the Blitz, and it's gonna be three for zero here in favor of Backdoor. Meanwhile, Sandraith didn't have a Mirage ready to go. He's going at it with Draconis. More so Draconis on the chase here. Is this going to be enough for a kill? Oh no, he uses the Dragon Breath in the wrong direction. That would have been a kill had he canceled that teleport. So a pretty good juke coming in from Sand right there. Avoid the, uh, <coughs> to avoid the kill or death. Cracking gonna bottle up the DD. We have Storm Spirit picked up on the Tundra. So with the Storm Spirit, I would like to see a portal key follow up. Um, typically when you have a Storm Spirit, you wanna have a blink as well. Double damage on the Kraken. They might be looking to maybe to the Kongor. Legion is already on their Kongor. These are very late Kongors, by the way. We're at 27 minutes now. They have the heals from Rhapsody. This will be a Kongor dead for the Legion side. Maybe that will cue Hellborn to take their own Kongors. They don't want to give a token over to Legion, especially with this large lead that they're in. They have level 3 Mirage now on the Sandwraith. Picks up a Firebrand with the Null Fire level 1. And we're going to see the DD be given to the Gunblade. I think they could have definitely gave that to Dragon. I think he does way more damage than the uh, Gunblade at this point. With the DD, he's just barely hitting for harder than the Dragon. But he is critting nicely with the E. Gonna take out this Kongor, both teams getting one Kongor kill apiece. Got movement speed, movement speed, movement speed. Stats on Sandraith. Okay, that's uh, the last here I would expect to pick up stats on the Legion side as Rhapsody gets caught out there by the Tundra and the Kraken. That was an avalanche used. Blitz actually goes down to the Gunblade. Still had the DD activated. Gonna use that grappling shot for a kill. Very low cooldown at the level three, only 40 seconds, so he can use that rather liberally. Picks up a null fire blade here with the quick blade. A blessed ore picked up on the kraken. I guess he's going for null stone. Not sure. Not sure why. But, uh, almost a portal key on the Tundra if he wants to go for that. But the tower being worked on here by the Hellborn side. Legion's gonna need to respond here. Blitz has respawned now. Tower is gonna fall here. As Sandraith, he does have the Mirage ready to go, but there is the Arcane Bomb on the Tundra. Kraken misses the charge here. Do the one gonna jump in with the Dream of Madness. Here comes the Shrunken Head from the Draconis. Where is Sandraith? He's ported in on the Gunblade. Gunblade is way out of position here in the Legion base. He's going to Falls, Rhapsody, and Blitz also fell in the background to the Draconis. Draconis and company. Kraken gonna pick up that kill there on the Cthulhu font. And it was only Gunblade falling here for three kills. They're gonna take out the Raxes. And we're almost up to a 20,000 gold plus experience lead here as uh, he does pick up a Jade Spire on the Tundra. Here comes the Transmute on the Kraken. Kraken gonna fall here. Final auto attack from the Midas as he does use his release the Kraken there. 
at the end on the center. It didn't even need his release the Kraken for this Rex. Just kind of shows you how far ahead they are. Cronus also on 5,000 gold. We could see something like a frost field plate picked up. Typically the mock shrunken build, we see frost field plate as kind of a in your face DOT damage build. So I wouldn't be surprised to see the frost field pick up. Uh, but at this point he could kind of pick up whatever he wants. There's the null stone on Kraken, which I don't know why he has that, but Draconis also going null stone. Don't really like these pickups at all, but they're in such a lead they could kind of throw away gold at this point. Null fire blade, level one on the gun blade as he is veiled rotted. Not going to run into anybody, unfortunately. Thunder going to get caught here. There's the storm sphere preventing the transmute from landing. We have a Mirage ready to go from Sandraith here. Barbed armor up on the Cthulhu font. Sandraith did get staffed by the way, I think I failed to mention that. Rhapsody gonna get caught here by the grappling shot of Gunblade. Tundra is almost 400 gold per minute. He has Jade Spire, Portal Key, Storm Spirit, and now an Arcane Bomb. He's very farmed. They have Chipper as well with an Arcane Bomb, so they have two of those now. Second tier tower here going to be worked on, taken out here by Backdoor Protocol. They're going to look to go for the second Rax here. As the Geometer's Bane was finished by Sandrith, he has a Sustainer now working towards a Resto Stone. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it though before this uh, this Rax is going to be forced here from the Hellborn side. We, uh, we have a Storm Spear picked up on Blitz. Here's the volcano, he's gonna jump in with the shrunken head. Blitz gonna storm spirit himself. He's very low. One more auto attack gonna be taken out by the Draconis there. And actually the Blitz went down to the Kraken. Thulafon did die to the Draconis. Here's the Mirage from Sandraith. Doesn't port to it though. And I think they have more or less conceded this Rax at this point. Kraken gonna miss the charge, but there's not a lot of fighting power left from the side of the lazy feline. As the release of the Kraken going to be used, not landing onto anyone, but the Rax going to fall, so they get the job done here. Two Rax lead here. And uh, I think at this point, might be looking to go to a game three. Don't think there's too much fighting power left from the Legion side here. Ashley picked up at 33 minutes, not really going to kind of cut it as we start to see the troll item picks coming in. I think that was a Brutalizer pick on Draconis. And uh, Chipper halfway to a Staff. Arcana picked up on Gunblade. Maybe a Hellflower. Don't think we'll see Harkon Blade. I think Kraken finished the idol. I don't think he had that earlier. Actually, he might have. Hasn't really progressed much, though. But uh, we'll see if Draconis can bash. Very low percent chance. Gunblade gets caught out here by the Legion side. Mirage up in tw 10 seconds. Lulu eating some rockets to the dome. But one more Rax left. Sandwraith counter pushing the bot lane. He's gonna get the tier 2 tower. Maybe gonna try to go for the Rax here. At the base, Blitz gonna go down. Couldn't get the Storm Spirit off on himself. I think he got Avalanche done. Double tap goes out to Draconis. He picks off both the supports. 
Am I just gonna try to anti push here? He avoids the release or the uh, tsunami charge from Kraken. Still release the uh, Kraken ready to go. Here comes Cthulhu Fawn with the Dream of Madness. Barbed Armor was applied, but not gonna fear anybody. He's going to fall here to Draconis. There's another transmute landing on the dragon. Sandwraith in the back line. It's just simply too late. We're gonna have the Mega Creeps coming out. And that should be game number two here. Pending uh, a world tree dying or a concede boat. Tipper gonna fall here. A lot of buybacks happening from the Legion side. Will Draconis fall though? He will. And I don't know if he bashed at all.